The Cowboys are never allowed to sneak up on anyone. <clears throat> what do I mean when I say the Cowboys are not allowed to sneak up on anyone? Today, myself and all other Cowboy fans around the world, we, we, we're getting, they're coming from all ends. Uh, we have been bombarded, they're, they're coming. Shrapnel is, is coming. I mean, crosshairs are on us. But what I mean by that, um, by the nature of being the Dallas Cowboys, being the Dallas Cowboys and whatever Jerry Jones, you know, his marketing ability for the Dallas Cowboys, the media would not let the Dallas Cowboys sneak up on anyone. And it's a lead in on most talk shows and on most um, podcasts, um, there is al it's always going to be a discussion. If there's a sports arena, is they going to talk about the Dallas Cowboys? So no, no matter what Dallas doing in the off season, um, and when the season begins, it's going to be talk of the Dallas Cowboys and how we should succeed. So we don't have the the luxury of sneaking up on it. Uh, into you know contention because everyone's going to be aware of the Dallas Cowboys and I was you know I'm talking to a lot of people right now that they, they you know I'm getting contacts I'm getting text messages from a lot of my Eagle friends right now I didn't hear I didn't hear any of those Eagle fan, uh, fans or friends last year none I mean because Dak Dak beat uh Dak Prescott you know most of them are, most of the calls or texts are about Dak Prescott I'm on board with it. Uh, yeah, Dak has proven that he can't be consistent, and and if you can't be consistent, you cannot be an elite quarterback. But you know he's our quarterback, and he's a very rich quarterback. He has a, help, a healthy salary, so it, it'll be hard to, you know, make any changes at that position. That being said, he had beaten Jalen Hurts. Jalen's zero and two against Dak Prescott. He's better than you know. Uh, if I, I was telling this one particular friend of mine, you know, hey, hey, um, Dak is better than Wentz. And there was a, at one time, there was a debate about who was better, Dak Prescott or, or Wentz, Carson Wentz. And it was proven very quickly, mind you, that Dak was, even though Dak was a fourth round draft pick and Wentz was the Eagles' first pick in the first round. Um, so now... There was discussion about Jalen Hurts, who's the better quarterback. You know, the media has not really uh, elevated Jalen Hurts to an elite status. MVP level, yes, he was playing at the MVP level before he got hurt, and he may be still in the the runnings. If 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 they um, and I guess I'm not sure if it's based just solely 100% on the regular season or the you know spill over into the playoff. Uh, the performances of the, you know, uh, leading uh, MVP get, uh, vote getters. I this is this is my take on Dak Prescott. Dak is very talented, but I have I, I I have you know noted that there has been lesser, equal or lesser quarterbacks that have won the Super Bowl for their respective teams. The Dallas Cowboys are talented enough to win a Super Bowl. Now, these 49ers fans is calling me because I said Dallas is better than 49ers. That's my opinion. But yeah, you, you beat the Cowboys last season and you beat us this season. And mind you, if Dak did not give you six points and I and our kicker didn't give you one point, that's seven points that you got. Subtract, subtract seven from 19. What did you get? Okay. Um, it, the game was really tight. I'm, this is no excuse. You're supposed to win. You win, You want. You, you you play who you have, and you win the game. But we didn't have our, our starting right tackle. He got hurt early in the season. You know, we didn't have our starting left cornerback. But Dak gave the 49ers six points. It wasn't. You didn't do anything special to get those 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 two field goals. You didn't do anything special to get those. I mean, the picks of Dak. Those two picks puts you in a position to score two field goals. You, you didn't score a touchdown on those picks. So our defense was playing lights out. Unfortunately, they, they was getting tired because 
We couldn't move the chains. We couldn't move the chain. And so playing in your backyard, playing more confident with a rookie quarterback who was gaining confidence every game. This wasn't his first game. But every game you're gaining more confidence playing with some talent around you. And I, did, and I tell, told a friend of mine, you know, Eagles, he's, he's an Eagle fan. Eagles, what? You went out and got a wide receiver. You know, you got defensive players. We let our wide receiver go. Amari Cooper. We subtracted from an offensive line. A starter, Lyle Collins. So that's a, so I, I, uh, at the end of the day, this all falls on Jerry Jones. At the end of the day, this is all Jerry Jones. If he's just did, just kept his hands out of the cook out of the cookie jar, but he kept going to the cookie jar, he kept going to the cookie jar. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all on it's Jerry. It, it's Jerry. Dak has the capability to win a Super Bowl with a good team, and he has a good team. But also having the right play call from the offensive coordinator, the stupid penalties cost. We up to I mean right. Early in the game, I'm take Lawrence. Why are you off sides? Why are you in the backfield? You, don't you see the ball? I can see the ball. I mean, I'm in my living room. I can see the ball. It's right there. The center had not moved the ball. It had not been hiked. The ball was right there. You're on the line of scrimmage, and you don't see the ball? You don't see the ball? But again, I mean the Cowboys, we can't we can't sneak up on it. We can never sneak up on a, a team. So we're projected to do well because of the fan base, because people talking about our team, the local media is talking about our teams, all the local media is talking about the Cowboys, the national media is talking about the Dallas Cowboys. So being a fan of the Dallas Cowboys, everyone's telling us that we have a really good team. Our enemies are telling us that we have a really good team. So what? We feel we have a really good team. But the, the, the one constant other than not, and it goes hand in hand, of not being successful deeply in the postseason and winning another Super Bowl, you know, 27 years, 30 years, it's Jerry Jones. That's the constant. The one constant Ever since he took over, and he's so in denial, he wanted to be proven wrong that, and I believe he fear if he steps aside and the Cowboys win, everyone can say, I told you so, Jerry. I told you so. So he wants to prove he, he being the owner can do anything you want to do with the team. Well, I'm going to stay here and prove you all wrong until... You know that last tick in the heart, and I I I, I don't wish evil on anyone. So I'm just saying, whatever happens, the natural causes. You know, I want Jerry to be here as long as you know the good Lord want him here. But I'm just saying he's gonna hang on. And you hear you heard the saying to you pry these weapons from my cold dead hand. Well, until you that's how you're gonna get the Cowboys away from Jerry Jones. His cold dead hands. That's the only way you're going to get the Dallas Cowboys away from Jerry Jones. We cannot sneak up on anyone because of Jerry Jones and his marketing, the the media, um, and Dak Prescott is capable of winning a Super Bowl with the right team around him and some offensive players. We lost another top tier wide receiver in Amari Cooper. Michael Gallup is not it. He got a fat check too. He's not it. So we got to get some help there. And, and and actually, that is when Dak really took off when he when when we got we traded for Amari Cooper. That's when he really took off. I, this is all on Jerry. This is. 100% on Jerry. Yeah, the, the 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 picks and the losses because of the picks, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give those to Dak Prescott, especially when you're not under duress. Or if you're under duress, you, you, you should be seasoned enough to throw the ball out of bounds or throw it away. Or take a sack. 
I take a sack. Hell, I take a safety. J Mac Sports 24-7. I'm J Mac. Appreciate that you subscribe to the channel. Help me grow the channel. If you, uh, hey, listen, 49er fans, I wasn't trying to be uh, disrespectful. I'm just speaking from a fan perspective. From my, uh, this is my, my team, the Dallas Cowboys, that I like because I've been rooting for since I was knee high, you know. So I'm sure you do the same. And I'm not going to take it personal. You feel that the 49ers, if they had lost, was a better team. I'm not going to take it personal because. That's your, you know, perception, your perspective. That's what you, you know, you get to see the 49ers a lot more than I do. And, and you know what they are capable of doing. And you know when they fall short. Likewise, for me and the Dallas Cowboys and our fan base. We know what the Dallas Cowboys, what they're capable of doing. And when they, and when we, we see their shortcomings. And actually, I believe the, 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 the national media knows this as well. The, what the Cowboys, with the talent base they have, what they could, uh, what they're capable of doing. J-Max 24-7.